Hi folks, it's John from LastChanceAutoStore.com. Uh, I'd like to share with you another update. This is a completed vehicle. We're just getting ready to deliver it to the client's home. Uh, so this is a 1933 Ford pickup. Um, so when we uh, when it came here to Last Chance Auto Store, there was missing a lot of parts and a lot of bits. Uh, the engine barely ran on its own power. Um, they unfortunately had sawdust inside the oil and they had some type of product in the rad. Um, so it was in pretty rough shape when it arrived here and required a lot of body work. And so basically we, we uh, completely disassembled it. We put the frame on a rotisserie. We sandblasted it, repainted. So basically it's a total uh, ground up restoration. So for here where we are in Ontario, Canada, this is a very, very rare truck. There's very few of them around um, in this location. So this is the B series engine. It's the last year for the flathead four cylinder. Um, in 33, it's got the longer nose and hood and larger grill. And then in 34, um, the flathead V8 was available for the first time. So this is right near the end of 1933. Um, and in our area, once again, very, very rare. So uh, we restored this vehicle and um, for the client who owns it, and it was his grandfather who ordered it brand new. Um, and it's been on their farm. And uh, so it's kind of a neat thing. He was able to find it and uh, so he had us restore it for him. So it's factory correct green paint with the black fenders and then we sandblasted and powder coated the steel uh, rims and, uh, and spoked wheels. Um, and then on the inside we made everything pretty much authentic. We did upgraded wiring and so on but we still maintain the 6 volt uh, power and uh, the uh, generator works as it should, parking brake, all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, we changed the flooring. We've got some rubber mat floor, um, but everything else is um, is as original. It has the tilting or opening front windshield, which is a nice feature. So when you're parked, you can open up that front window. Uh, this wood and the wood on the sides here and in the bed came from the farm that this truck originally came from, uh, rough cut, and then we uh, we got all the wood prepared for it so everything fits quite nice we've got the the black textured running boards and then we've got the high gloss black and this is all single stage paint all the body and paint work was done here at last chance i'll restore and then the wood is a nice feature so with this wood as i mentioned came from the original farm rough cut and we planed it and uh, did all the nice edges and so on and uh, originally we had a sticker a decal made up and the original truck said Loyalist Lodge and H.R. Clark. Um, so a friend of ours has a CNC machine. So after we have this all stained and varnished, uh, we had him use this nice CNC and engrave that. And I think it's a nice touch. Uh, just keeps it nice and clean looking. Along the back, it has the original tailgate uh, with the, the three support pieces. And then we've got the, uh, the chrome rod instead of the painted rod. And on the inside, this was very, very rough condition because um, it was used on the farm as a truck. It was banged up um, quite substantially on both sides in that back, and we were able to repair it all and smooth it all out. We used a light texture bed liner material, uh, and you can see the detail. Hopefully there's not too many shadows here, but the detail of the wood, uh, I think, is quite nice, the grain. And uh, so obviously we, we sanded and, and painted um, all of these strips and hardware and then we've got the stainless hardware to fasten the fenders on and then we've got the single uh, tail light on the back <coughs> pardon me um, single tail light for for brakes and that's hand signals for uh, for signals themselves you can see once again the the wooden uh, stake pockets down the side and then the textured running board material for the running board itself and then you can see on the inside once again from the driver's side Everything quite authentic looking. We've got the, the normal uh, black seat cover, and then we painted everything obviously green to match on the inside. Uh, authentic steering wheel, new handles and chrome, uh, new weather stripping and all that kind of fun stuff. And then also new glass that we had cut. And then you have your door handle gasket. So a lot of neat little details. Some people will look at this truck and say, well, there's just a neat old truck, really simple to work on, but it's getting very, very difficult to find parts uh, for these vehicles, especially in the B series engine. Um, there are substantial problems with water pumps and it's very, very difficult uh, to find parts for them. So I just advise you, if you do have something as rare as this, 
um, it can be very, very challenging to find parts. Um, but overall, we've got the authentic Firestone uh, tires with the original size that they should be. Uh, so it looks quite authentic other than the, the truck bed. It's, it's upgraded. That would have been just a, a steel plank floor kind of deal uh, where we've got the nice wood. So, um, so this is the, the last you're going to see this truck, I think, for a while. What we're going to do is we're going to get ready to load it up and, and uh, deliver it to our clients. So this is a, a rare vehicle for this area. It's a 1933 Ford truck, flathead four-cylinder. I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com.